Welcome to Electro Online. One of the most interesting and effective ways to solve circuits is by finding the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Also sometimes to find the Norton equivalent circuit, but we'll cover that at the next video. So how do we do that? Well essentially what you want to do is you want to take your circuit that looks like this and obviously you can have a whole complicated mess in here, but it doesn't matter. What you want to do is you want to find something about what happens between the terminals A and B, whatever they may be and wherever they may be inside the circuit. So it's a very general drawing right here. But you want to convert this into something that looks like this. A voltage source where the voltage is known as the Thevenin voltage and an impedance in series with that voltage source where the impedance is known as the Thevenin impedance. And at that point you can see that it's very easy once you have a source like this with a series impedance, it's then very easily easy to find the current through A and B when you apply a load and to find the voltage between A and B as the, current, as the circuit is set up like that. So you can see that it's very easy to solve the circuit and to find information between the terminals A and B once you've converted it from your original circuit into what we call the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is to find the Thevenin impedance. To do that, you take every current source and change it to an open circuit. So you simply remove the current source and leave the circuit as an open circuit. You also then take every voltage source and convert that to a short circuit. Simply remove it and connect the two ends so that you make it into a short circuit. Once you've done that inside your circuit, you removed all your current sources and voltage sources, change the current source to an open source and the voltage source to a short circuit, then you calculate the impedance from A to B through the remaining part of that circuit. So once you do that, you compute the impedance between A and B, which then becomes the Thevenin impedance. That is what goes over here. The next thing you want to do is you want to find the Thevenin voltage. To do that, you restore your circuit to the original and you simply calculate what the voltage is between the two terminals from A to B. The voltage between A and B with the circuit restored is simply the Thevenin voltage. Of course, you want to have no load between A and B, so if there's something connected between A and B, you simply want to remove that and then measure or calculate the voltage between A and B through the regular circuit. Once you have those two components, you now have the Thevenin equivalent circuit and then it becomes really easy to solve it. Of course, it's easier to talk about it like this. You probably want to see some examples and we have some examples for you, but this is the strategy that you will follow. It's very important that you remember this, and that you remember that the Thevenin voltage simply is the voltage across the terminals from A to B with nothing connected between A and B. And that is how it's done. That's how we find the Thevenin equivalent circuit.